I'm popularly known as Coach Mai. My full name is Ng Sik Boy. Uh, I've been a uh, recreational gymnastics coach and some competitive uh, 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 requirements for the past 15 years. Uh, but before that, I've been active with the National Federation. I was uh, much before that, I was a gymnast myself. Too. So all in, my gymnastics involvement is about 50 years. Because now I'm already 64 and I started gymnastics when I was 14. So what are the reasons that made you start gymnastics? Oh, okay. You see, like I said, I started gymnastics when I was 14. During my time, it was very difficult to get someone to teach you gymnastics. And when I was, I remember when I was 10 years old, my sister, who was a school teacher, brought me to a competition in Stadium Negara back in 1965. This is a friendly competition between Singapore and Selangor then. And so that was the first time it was a, it was a First movie. time I saw gymnastics, 1965. So when I saw that, wow, human beings can tumble, human beings can do things like that, human beings can somersault. They attracted me straight away, straight away. That was when I was 10 years old. But being in primary school then, there were no teachers to teach gymnastics, and uh, I just practiced myself. At the school field, I will learn cartwheel myself. I will do even, eventually, I learned a handspring myself without a coach teaching. Then, what will you do Okay, in my earlier years, the uh, biggest challenge was actually getting a, a really good coach with teachers, a coach who knows all the specifics of the gymnastics and uh, the biomechanics and the various uh, uh, conditioning exercises and progressions. Right? But we, I fortunately I had a, one, uh, a very passionate coach. He didn't know much, but he still spent a lot of time with us. Yeah? So uh, we found that getting information then was difficult. Yeah. Uh, two, getting apparatus is during my time it's difficult to get a proper parallel bar, a proper set of rings, no high bar. Vaulting we use use a vaulting box, we don't use a vaulting table. Yeah. So equipment is another challenge. And then as I went along uh, becoming a coach, I decided to become a coach. Uh, the next challenge came is where I where do I go to acquire knowledge to be a coach? And fortunately, uh, since I was with the National Federation, active with the, uh, the National Federation all this while, they sent me for coaching courses. So the one that I went that really opened my eyes was uh, in Canberra, in Australia, where I did an elite coaches course. Yeah. Then along the line, other challenges will be getting coaches, more coaches to help me when I became, when I had more students, yeah. So these are basically the challenges, yeah. Then I heard that you're injured Okay, <laughs> okay, that, that, that was one, uh, one accident, where by doing our time, there were no really safety equipment, no safety mats, and uh, no one to really tell us exactly what to do. So it, it was all through guts, you know, guts and uh, 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 daredevil kind of characteristics. So we, I was doing a double back somersault of coconut husk mat. Yeah, the coconut husk mat basically has no re no rebound, no spring, but we depended on our own legs. We were strong enough to jump, fly up, and do a double back. Yeah. So the problem was happened that evening when I was doing my double back, which I could already do. When I went up, the mat slipped and my rotation was affected. So I didn't go high enough, and my, I couldn't rotate fast enough, and I landed at the back of my neck, and I actually dislocated two bones. And I'm lucky to be alive and not paralyzed after that. So after your injury, you face like difficulties in your physical activities? Uh, for two years, yes. Yeah, after my recovering from a broken neck is not easy, beginning I had to learn how to walk again. I can't even walk properly. And then uh, slowly over time I did all my, uh, I attended a lot of physiotherapy sessions. Uh, then I went back to the gym, uh, I did my hands 
stands, I did my cartwheels, and after two years or so, I did back skills like round off, back spin, back duck, full piece, giant on the ring, down the bars, and stuff like that. Uh, then I stopped and decided to take up coaching. So after your injury, you go for like fun, but you never go for competitions? After I did, no, no more competition. No more competition. So, would you like your grandchildren? Grandchildren, don't say just grandchildren, even my children, I wanted them to join, but I do not know why. They don't seem to like the sport of gymnastics, except my elder daughter. Out of my three kids, probably the other comp- the other problem was transport, you know, you're staying too far away. Uh, yes, of course, if you talk about my grandchildren now, now that we have, the, 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 we have our own transport and stuff like that, I have my own gym. Yes, my granddaughter, who is nearly four years old now, is doing gymnastics. Okay. So, do you prefer to coach your granddaughter on your own, or let the other coaches? Oh, I think, I think I should let other coach to coach, even though I will overlook once a while. Yeah. Then, uh, you won your daughter. She took the same course as me, right? Architecture. Yes, yeah, she did. So, she further her studies overseas. Then, do you miss her when she's at overseas? Yes, of course. I think every parent will miss her children if they're not around. But then, uh, nowadays with modern technology, with the handphone, with Skype, with WhatsApp, yeah, uh, we could still keep in touch virtually and uh, didn't really miss her that much. But it was only over two years and she was really back. Then, as a father, how did you support and encourage her in the Uh. I think as a father, the most important thing is, uh, you see, my kids are one generation below me. They, and nowadays, modern kids, modern kids have their own minds, you know, they, they want to do what they want to do. So, as a, the, 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 the support that I give her is, alright, I give her a roof over, the, over her head, she has, uh, she, she, can, uh, she has all the, the resources to study. I encourage her to open up her mind, yeah. Uh, do not follow things where normally other people would just do, right? So be more creative on her own. Uh, she had the opportunity to be able to travel around. She had her own car, you know, I provided her transport. And then, uh, of course, when she, um, after getting, getting her degree locally, uh, she worked for a year or two, and then she decided to do her master's. Then, then I told her, yeah, go ahead. In a professional line, you need to not just do masters. You need to even finish a part three if you can, you know. So yes, uh, support her of course financially. Over two years in England, uh, in Oxford, Brooks for her complete the masters. Uh, she did well, yeah. And now she's back. Uh, of course, I'm still encouraging her to do part three. Yeah. So are you proud of her achievement? I think as a family, we all help one another. Definitely, uh, whatever's ups and downs in the family, it is the it is everyone else has an influence in it. Yeah. So to end this interview, uh, my coach, do we have any advice for beginner in gymnastics or studies? Okay. So all right, I've been coaching you all these years. I've been watching. I see number one. All right. You are quite hardworking, right? Uh, you don't play a fool. You are quite serious and quite concentrated on what you do. Uh, you have your concentration is good, which is uh, a good thing. Now, I think that carries on to your your character uh, as being a disciplined person. It carries on to uh, your achievements, what you want to do. Yeah, you're you're, you're strong-minded. So therefore, I think. It's quite easy for me as a coach to tell you what to do because your mind will not sway. I think you have a strong mind yourself too. Yeah, all, all this while I can see. So sports is good for you. Trains gives you all this uh, opportunity to train with more discipline, makes you healthier, uh, better mind. Yeah. Uh, but then education too is important. So I I believe uh, the, the discipline you learn from sport you apply to your education. I'm sure you will succeed. Thank you, Krishna. You're most welcome. And I wish you all the best.
in their future.